Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a super quick and easy clean up or tidy up. This is kind of like my go-to cleaning. It's what I do every time before we go on vacation or anything like that. So I figure I'll share it with you guys. This I recorded before I went on vacation, like literally an hour or two before we left. So I decided to show it to you because I just feel like it's a super good and effective cleaning just to keep your house organized and picked up. I like to start in my kitchen and then I'll move on to the dining room and the rest of the house because I feel like the kitchen needs the most work. So I first start by putting away any dishes that are out or putting away anything that doesn't belong in the kitchen and then I'll move on to the dishes which is my least favorite part. Um, before vacation you know you always have something to wash and I don't like to leave things in the dishwasher so I'll usually just wash them by hand but once that's done I'll go ahead and give the sink a quick scrub. I did clean it better earlier in the day after breakfast but now I just want to go ahead and just give it a quick scrub since I wash those dishes and then that'll be all done. Moving on to my dining room, I'm just giving it a quick clean and a quick polish. I'm first wiping it down with my German chamois that stamp and then after that I'm just going to go ahead and use my 7th generation wood cleaner and give it a quick polish. I'm also wiping down Penelope's high chair. I love that I could take this top part and then I just wash it in the sink and then put it back. I love that about that chair and I also like that it's pretty like petite. <laughs> So like I mentioned, I recorded this before I went on vacation, so I was trying to take a few things down before I left just to make it easier on me when I got back. But we did leave before New Year's Eve, so it was too early to take down Christmas then. So that's why I just left it up until we came back from vacation. <laughs> So instead of continuing on the kitchen, I decided to vacuum because Penelope was going to go down for a nap soon and I didn't want to make too much noise when she was trying to go down for a nap. So I just went ahead and stopped with the kitchen and the dining room table and just moved on to the living room, picked that up and went ahead and vacuumed. This is motherhood. Everything you do revolves around the baby and the baby schedule and everything is affected, even the way you clean your house. Who can relate? <laughs> So you guys know I love vacuuming so no matter what type of cleaning I'm doing I usually just vacuum but I do feel like vacuuming is key when you're cleaning I feel like it helps you so much in the long run and it just makes you feel good and it makes your house feel better <laughs> it just makes you feel better just to vacuum like sometimes even if I don't have time to clean anything else I feel like by vacuuming I'm just doing a lot. <laughs> So of course I am vacuuming all the living areas of my house, my dining room and kitchen and living room because I have to. <laughs> Now that the living room and dining room are vacuumed, I'm going back to the kitchen to finish cleaning the counters and everything else before I vacuum in here. By now Penelope is already asleep so there is no problem of using the vacuum, it's just when she's going down to sleep. She's so nosy, she needs to know what's going on if she hears a lot of noise. So that's why I rather just keep it quiet until she's asleep and once she's asleep I could just go ahead and do everything else. To clean the counters, I am using the Toxin Free Concentrate from Grove. It is the multi-surface concentrate and I love this stuff. I mentioned it on a video before. I've mentioned their three concentrates, which I really love all of them. But this one is by far my favorite. It's just such a good multi-surface cleaner. I've been using it non-stop. I've been using it to mop my floors. I've been using it in all my counters. I haven't used any of my Miss Myers sprays, which you guys know I love. 
but I just wanted to mention it because I really do love this concentrate so I am using it to wipe down everything even the stove and all the counters and then I am using the Grove um, microfiber towel to make sure everything is nice and dry and polished I even use the concentrate on the stovetop with this German chamois and then I'll just go in with my glass top um, polisher and then just polish it so it's nice and shiny. And I do have some coupon codes and stuff you could get for free from Grove so make sure you check out the description box for those. Once the stove and the counters are all clean and polished, it's time to polish my appliances and I am using my Pledge multi-surface cleaner which I always use because it's good on stainless steel. I've said it a million times, I don't think it's the best thing but I'm just gonna go ahead and finish using it and once I run out of that, I'll go ahead and look for a new cleaner. I got a lot of suggestions from you guys so I'm gonna check out a few of the products that you have suggested. I love my fridge, but I feel like it gets dirty just by looking at it. It drives me insane. Now that everything is nice and shiny, I'm just going to go ahead and vacuum this side of the house. Again, I am using my vacuum, which it is linked in the description box. I get tons of questions about it in all my cleaning videos, so make sure you check the description box for it. Go all the way down, it's linked there. And yeah, I love this attachment because I like to get it under all the cabinets. There's always crumbs there and under the appliances a little better. The corners and the baseboards, this is just my favorite attachment from this vacuum. <laughs> and I'm not vacuuming the entire house I'm just vacuuming kind of like the living area or the places that are more trafficked we did have family over so I felt like the entrance and that hallway was getting a little more traffic than usual so I vacuum it but usually just vacuum the kitchen dining room and the living room After I vacuumed everything, I am using my Swiffer Jet just to clean this area of the kitchen which I feel like it's the dirtiest because that's where we cook and everything so I always like to just give it a quick mop or you know, Swiffer I guess, that's how you say it. <laughs> but I'm also doing it around Penelope's eating area in the dining room just because she's eating much more and I feel like she's always dropping something on the floor so I always have to vacuum it and mop it. Or wipe it down or Swiffer it or whatever and then last I am vacuuming my room because you guys know I'm crazy and I literally vacuum my room I think like every other day I just feel like I don't know I have to I just feel like Penelope is always playing on the floor there and my hair falls like crazy and I just love the way it makes my room look with the lines on the carpet <laughs> but that is it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some tips on keeping your house clean an easy way thank you so much for watching i'm so happy to be back please subscribe if you haven't yet and i'll see you next time bye guys <laughs>